Hey everybody, welcome back to Pixel Junkies. Welcome back. We're getting the uh, car collection achievement it's in San Andreas. A legitimate business. A legitimate business. We're trying to get that Admiral over there, uh, but it's locked. So what? We're, we're Why are cars locked in this? Thing? I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to spawn for this achievement because some of them. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, this will be fun to drive back. I'll bring it to a paint spray. Where's the nearest one? Up north. Okay. Eh. It's just a straight road oh. from here. <laughs> nice. Let me just. Uh, what? There's one. No, I was just I was just gonna compare it and see if uh, some of the mod shops were in similar areas to the where they are in GTA Five, and they're not. Because that's where the hotel is. Yeah. GTA Five is basically five. that oh. that island, right? Just go to the map. Uh. Yeah, it's basically just like just that, right yeah. there. Well, sort of that, but Mount Chiliad is up north and not over there. Yeah, That's, Mount Chiliad is closer. Yeah, Mount Chiliad's like up here. But like the Blaine County there. Yeah, it, it was well, called Red County in this. Oh, is it? Yeah, it yeah. says in the bottom corner. So I don't know where Blaine County came from. Blaine. From Blaine is that there guy. is there like multiple counties in this? Like, is there actually a, uh... Blaine County? Yeah. Red County... It's What's like, that, like, white stuff there? The... with the red... road... down? Where? Right there. Here? The red yeah. stuff? Red uh, stuff is a, as a railroad. Right. What's the white? That's a mountain. Oh. Yeah, it's so. Red County. No airstrip up there, either. No, it's all just Red County. Yeah. So, I don't know if there is... I, I don't know if, uh... The desert area in Las Venturas. You're going the wrong way, man. Guys. I'm going to the mod shop. Oh. Also, I didn't get rid of my waypoint. Oh. Yeah, I got two wheels shot out, I think. Oh, it's just one. But it's my steering. Uh, you know, it's interesting to come back to this game after five. Yeah, it is. Fuck you, Felser. Aaron was just saying, saying before the video, a lot of this looks very similar. It does, yeah. There Which are makes perfect sense. It's just interesting to see where, you know... Yeah. Where it all came from. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like... Obviously, you know, 5 is based on this game. Uh, because that would make sense. But it's it's crazy how similar some areas are. Like, just driving around, you'll get to an area and... You know, all four... What the fuck was that? All four corners of the screen. Like, they just <laughs> create an image that looks like it's out of GTA 5. You know, it's like, obviously, the graphics are shittier and... Yeah. The uh, textures aren't... It's like playing a par, but iOS port of GTA 5. <laughs> the PS2 <laughs> version of GTA 5. Pretty much. Yeah. Like, uh, when Test Drive Unlimited... What? Where the fuck am I going? When Test Drive Unlimited came out on 360, the PS2 version was so terrible. There was a PS2 version of that game? Yep. Oh, man. It was really bad. We should track it down for a special. <laughs> Do a special on it. They took a lot of the cars out uh, because I'd the, say the manufacturer didn't. The manufacturers didn't want their cars being in a game that looked that shitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now the the like the 360 version didn't look. I mean, it, it looked good. Yeah, it was. But it, it was no Forza Three or whatever, right? No, it just it it had. Well, I mean, Forza Three came out after, right? Did it? Yeah. Like, like the Test Drive Unlimited was just about a launch game. Uh -huh. Almost. Like within the first year, at least. It didn't look bad, and but it wasn't the best looking thing ever. No, but it just it had cockpit view, and it was a big open world driving game. Yeah. And that wasn't something that existed prior, you know? Yeah. I'm just saying, you take that and then make that shit. The and then that's the PS2 version. Yeah. That's, that's not good. <laughs> No, yeah, I, I don't know why they even bother with the PS2 version, to be honest. I mean, obviously... I can't imagine it sold a lot. Nope. They made a PSP version as well. <laughs> and I think that was just based on the PS2 version. Oh, no. It was really bad. I thought about buying it just to have it, because I, I really liked uh, I really liked TDU. Um, but, I mean, it wasn't a fantastic game. It had a lot of... Um, TDU 2 was way <clears throat> better, though. No. Yeah, they, they, they fixed a lot of problems, but they ended up creating just as many more, and they were a little bit more... 
Yeah. Not game breaking. Didn't TDU two just... have the whole map of TDU one? It as did. Yeah. Extra like. Yeah, once you reached a certain part in the game, you could go back to Oahu. The first game was uh, in Oahu, Hawaii. Yeah. And then the second game was uh, Ibiza in Spain. Oh. And then you could go to and from both things, which was a really cool concept. That's it, cool. Crazy that they were well, able it, to do that. It was just the that. same map, though, right? No edits or anything? Uh, it was the same map, but I don't think Plane that's fucking... Okay. Disappeared. They definitely rebuilt it, though. Like it was, they probably took the same, the same model and then just like updated stuff. Yeah. The first game had a lot of problems with, uh, like polygons, polygon roads, and it's. It, I mean, this this game probably for that matter. Like you can see, like how the car changes direction going up over all these polygons. Um, it's not as noticeable in this because it's a third person game, but in a first person game, where the fuck? All right, I gotta go. I just keep going south. Keep going this way. Um, in a first-person game, when you're driving in cockpit view, you really you really notice like the car would hop over like the changes in the road. Right. And, and I guess it was like something to do with the poly count. They didn't want to have too many polygons in the road or whatever. And they they fixed it in the second one. I guess they just you know the the physical road was probably still bumpy, but they changed where the collision was so that it felt Jesus birds. It felt really smooth when they, uh, when you when you drove cars around. So that was one thing that they fixed, but they made the handling a lot shittier. And what does Jordan say? There, there are no straight lines. Yeah, <laughs> there are no straight lines on the PS2. Yeah, something like that. Pretty, oh, I'm glad that fence was there though, because I would have just fucking binned it. Uh, yeah, that like the problem with TDU2 really was. They didn't live up to what they said they were going to do. Like, they said they were going to add... It was an overly ambitious game. Oh, it was. Like, they were going to add all kinds of cars, all, kind of ca all kinds of car packs. They were going to add furniture and new clothes, new hairstyles, glasses, and all that stuff. And they didn't release any of that. They released, like, one car pack, like, two years after the game came out. And I think it was... I think the first one was free because they basically said... Here's all the shit that we said we were going to give you that we didn't. And then the second one was paid for, and it just sucked ass. <laughs> it was really, really, really bad. Not at all uh, what I expected. I, I, it's probably down to um, some financial troubles that Eden had during the process. Not to yeah. mention Atari, who had no money to begin with. But, uh, yeah. fuck you. Friggin' Admiral like, here, too. It sounded like they were trying to make... GTA 5 without the violence. Yeah. I think they were just trying to save their skins is what they were doing. Like, we need to make a massive project that will be successful, so we need to hype the shit out of it, and then they just didn't do anything. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's a shame. Hmm. It, it The project had real potential. It did. The first one was really fun. Like, it, it there wasn't a whole Atari lot to do. Atari still owns the license, though, right? Uh, Even yeah. if they're not really making games. Well, I think it's Infograms now. Infograms, yeah. I mean, uh, well, Atari is owned by Infograms now because uh, they went out of business. But yeah. I really like the they casino. They were behind Driver, DLC, right? Though. Really? Uh, Ubisoft is doing Driver now. They own yeah. the license. Woo! license. Bring it out, yeah. sucker. Uh, That's my kind of shit. I mean, I think Infograms published it. I don't know if they're in charge anymore. Mm. All right, so we got one left, and it's Camper. Camper. We know exactly where that is. Yep. Are we gonna, gonna get it this episode, Aaron? Um, we got ten minutes left. We're we're gonna we're gonna get so it this we'll episode. It. So we're gonna finish this list in this episode. Four episodes a list. Episodes I think I think that's pretty. So decent. then that'll be twelve episodes. Yeah. So that'll be right in between. If we what maintain, it's all about maintaining. Yeah. Know? Well, I mean, we fucked up. Figure one, out how to do it episode. properly and maintain. Look at all those triangles on the map. Jesus. I love the frame rate. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, you think the 360 will fucking run this goddamn game. All right, get rid but of the But it may point. be the coding. It may be the coding of the game itself. Frame rate might be shit on PC as well. It's not, though. It might be on this oh, version. Oh, in this version, you yeah. say, yeah. I don't think it would be. That'd be stupid. Yeah. I don't think Rockstar would do that. Why would Rockstar do that? Money. And... Yeah, but, I mean, they've all, like... 
I don't think it's money. They sold this game for $3. Yeah. And if, you know, in that case, I think they should sell it on Xbox One as well. I mean, why not? True. I would have bought it on Xbox One instead of this. Actually, I probably would have bought it on both. Actually, maybe not. I would have bought it on both if the achievements were easier, but they're not. Why am I going this way? I don't know. Uh, Mount Chile is not this way. You went the complete wrong way. I'm, I'm going the way that you go to go to Los Santos for some reason. Whatever. It's going the right way and then I change direction. Fucking turn. Fucking turn. Alright. You remember nice. all the Good. videos that people made in this? I remember the video you made in this. Yeah, I can gloss over those. <laughs> I made a couple in this. It was terrible. What one are I you talking the, about? I uh, remember the one you did to Enter the Sandman by Metallica. Was it? Yeah. I thought it was... Uh, I thought it, What's the name of that song? Nowhere or something? Oh, it might have been. It was a Metallica song. I thought it was Enter the Sandman, but it could have been. <laughs> no. I think it was... What's, is that the name of the song? <sighs> Nowhere or something like that? Huge Metallica fans here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't know what it was. It was a Metallica song, and you were doing some tricks to it. Yeah. That well, you filmed off the TV with a camcorder. <laughs> well, that, that was that that one? It was. I did, I did, I don't know, I had an idea I for a cool shot. remember you brought shot. over a VHS tape and yeah. we watched it in my basement. Yeah. Yeah. I had a cool idea for a shot and my brother-in-law was living at home at the time and he was always listening to Metallica, so I started listening to Metallica. Anyway, I, I, uh, I had a cool idea for a shot, which I thought was a cool idea for a shot. I mean, it's like the most basic establishing shot possible, or just like a helicopter flying above a hill next to a... a a sunset, which I was trying to do it as a time lapse so you could see the sun go down super fast. Yeah. But it was VHS and I didn't know how to speed up the film because <laughs> I literally, it didn't go through any video editor at all. It was just camcorder film. And uh, so every single shot in the thing was taken by me pressing the button and then pre unpressing it. Because, like, if you're you, going to fly off this mountain and be <laughs> pissed. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to fly off this mountain when we're almost at the bottom with the fucking camper. Um, so anytime you took a shot, like it would just film over whatever was on something. So like, <laughs> if you fucked up the shot, then you ruined everything. You had to start over. It's like vines, doing a vine. Yeah. If that's still difficult to do. I, no, I think you're allowed to edit now or something. Uh -huh. I don't know. I ain't no. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. That was such. I think we talked about that before. It was such a revelation figuring out how to edit the audio going into the camera. Yeah. So friggin' 90s. <laughs> the camera was a piece of shit. Yeah. We're almost at the top. You remember the the mountain bike missions on this? I fucking hate the racing in this goddamn game. The goddamn mountain bike race in this fucking... on this I, mountain. I kinda remember it. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> but you back. didn't enjoy it? No, because everyone fucking pushes you off the mountain. <laughs> and then you've got to, you, you know, if you don't die, you got to get up and run back to your bike or wait for some other asshole to finish until you restart the mission. And it was back in PS2 where you literally had to go to the waypoint again and start the mission. You didn't just get to go restart like you can in this version, which is great. I wish they had a little bit better saving than, uh, oh, there it is. <coughs> than it used to. Alright, I'm gonna grab a parachute, because why not? Oh, I didn't grab it. Alright, this will right, be... Camper! Campbell. Campbell. Bruce Campbell. So now I gotta drive down to the bottom. Is this, is this Rod Dennis? Or what's his name? Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. Do you like Rod Stewart? I don't not like Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart's got some cool stuff. I'm gonna ruin him for you. All right, go ahead. You can hear this song, yeah? Yeah. Picture Michael Roker singing it. Because it's his voice. Rod Stewart is Michael Roker. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, it hurts. <laughs> Oh, 
It sounds just like him. <laughs> Fucking like random musical number from Yandu in Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Or Merle becomes a zombie and then instantly breaks out into song. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> but hilarious. Uh, uh, I, mean, I wasn't a huge Rod Stewart fan to begin with, but now I'm definitely not. <laughs> Fuck Michael Roker. You don't like Michael Rooker? No. Is it Rooker or is I it don't Roker? Know. I don't know. It's R I thought it was R O O K E R. Uh, maybe it is Rooker. Maybe I don't know. Like. Whatever. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I mean, just ruin stuff. Like Cause I hate his voice. <laughs> oh, Aaron, no. Aaron, Aaron, <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. No, no. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. No, there's water. <laughs> there's water. Tree, save me. Aaron. <sighs> no. Just get out. Get you fucking idiot. Why didn't you get out? Oh no. You got a way to stand. How much time we got left? You want a way to stand. Three or four minutes. Alright, well. We're gonna have to skip ahead to where we find a camper <laughs> and we just bring it back. God, fucking <laughs> damn it is. God damn you, Michael Roker. Oh! That was oh. convenient. Oh! I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I was fucking more determined on getting back to the highway. Yeah, so this is definitely, uh, we're on the top of Mount Chiliad here again. Oh, yeah. And we're just gonna grab the, That's some uh, view. Just gonna grab the camper. Because, uh, it spawns up here. And there's some guy on a bike up here as well. I don't know what he's doing on top of Mount Chiliad. I don't know. Crazy just, fool. like, running around, wanting stuff. Mm. So we're gonna go back to the docks now. I like that there were missions... In the countryside oh. in this game, like it, it, well, it didn't just go from <clears throat> from Los Santos to San Fierro. There were there was like yeah, a countryside was like a, mission like a purgatory. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, you can go to San Fierro, but you haven't unlocked it yet, which kind of ruins the story a little bit too, because there's a couple of missions about uh, CJ leaving to go to San Fierro, and it's like. Yeah, I was already up there. I drove back down here to do this mission. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, it was kind of... Yeah. Odd. Because, I, I don't know, I, was, I went up there because I thought I could, like... You know, go up there and, and get find Caesar and start doing missions up there. But apparently I had to go back down and do more missions. Yeah. But, I mean, that's the other weird thing, too, is I'm still doing missions here in, in San Fierro. But... We un you have to unlock uh, Las Venturas before you can do this mission. Or like this this list quest or whatever the fuck it is. Apparently, so. Yeah. That's kind of cool too, like you can go over to Las Venturas now. Which, I'm glad because we're going to have to do that for a couple of vehicles. Are I'm we? Pretty sure, yeah. Like the casino car? Yeah, the Euros. I think that's the only place that that spawns. There's a couple of cars in this game too that don't spawn anywhere other than missions. Or races, like the go kart. Go karts only in races, and the uh, the Phoenix, which was a very common car in in Vice City, but in this game it uh, only spawns in, in a race. But the cool thing about that is you can you can fail the race without it resetting you. So you can literally just take the car back to your garage and park it in your garage, and then when you fail the mission, you'll still have it. Uh -huh. So that was a cool thing about uh, about that. <sighs> so, yeah, uh, uh, almost done this. Almost, almost done the first list. Yep, then we can see what we gotta do on the second list. And weep. And weep. Probably some cool oh, cars. Oh, go then. away, car. Fucking AI. It, I don't know how, but the AI in this game always managed to be right in front of you, and no matter where they go, they're, they stay in front of you. They're literally the most annoying AI that they could, you know, yeah. they could possibly make. Yeah, I would nominate this game for most annoying AI of the 2000s. Yeah. Because this is fucking so terrible. They move way too quickly. They move way too quickly. They always fuck you over. Fuck this radio station. K-Dust. 
Like, I, you know, changing lanes on the highway. I wish they just slowly merged from one lane to the next. Instead of, like, stopping and then instantly being in the other lane. I don't know how the hell this is uh, supposed to pick this up. Because this trailer is mo most likely made of fiberglass. But, whatever. No, man, it's one of those big aluminum things. Fiberglass campers. Fiberglass magnets. Magnet that picks up fiberglass. It's stainless steel, man. <laughs> stainless steel. <laughs> Alright. Titanium number, alloy camper. Number 10. Titanium alloy. This vehicle's not... What? What? Are you kidding me? What? Are you kidding me? Check the, uh... <sighs> it's not a camper? That's not a camper? What is it? <laughs> what is that if not a camper? This was... This is what was at the top of Mount Chiliad, wasn't it? Oh, god damn it. It's a big-ass camper, yeah. Just get in it. What is this? <sighs> is it a journey? It's a fucking journey. This is what was at the top of Chiliad. So what the hell is a camper? Is a camper that fucking hippie bus thing? It must be. For fuck's sakes. <sighs> Alright, should we include that in this episode or should we just fucking... Come on back <laughs> next time, everybody, where we find a camper. <laughs> oh, we're fucking terrible at this. Yeah. <sighs> Bring it on, sucker. That's my kind of shit. That, that's like a false one. <laughs> that's why I did it different. I didn't even earn it. God fucking damn it. 